maybe we should just talk about long wavelength light and how it can penetrate through the skin. You mentioned that UV is, is essentially blocked by the skin. Yeah, yeah. So if I step outside, for instance, on a nice sunny morning or even a partially overcast morning, but some long wavelength light is coming through, is it passing all the way through my body and impacting the water and mitochondria of every cell along the way? How is it scattering? I mean, how, how deep does this stuff go? Okay. so. Let's stand you out. Let's 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 strip you off and stand you out in sunlight. You know, twelve o'clock in July. The vast majority of long wavelength light is being absorbed in the body. So what we assume is that it has a very very high scattering ratio. So the vast majority of that long wavelength light is going to hit inside your. It's going to get through into your body and it's going to bounce around. So it's going to literally go through the skin. It goes through the skin. And let's, let's take the simple experiment. The simple experiment was you strip people off and you stand them in front of sunlight and you put a radiometer on their back. Tell which, us what a radiometer is. A radiometer measures the amount of energy coming through. Okay. And then we put a radiometer on, we put a, a spectrometer on your back as well, which tells us the wavelength. So what we get from that, the reading we get from that is that a few percent, a few percent is coming out the back. Now, we shouldn't concentrate on that. What we should concentrate on is what happens to the rest, because it's not bouncing back from the surface of the skin. Very little bounces back. It's being absorbed. Amazing. Okay. Which is amazing. Well, it's very interesting. It makes sense based on the physics of it, but but it's amazing, right? That the long wavelength light is actually penetrating our skin, bouncing around in yeah, our internal yeah. organs, and some's getting out the other side. Yeah, I so, think that's going to surprise a number of people. 